Moxonidine is an advanced antihypertensive medication designed to manage mild to moderate essential hypertension. Its primary appeal lies in its mechanism as an alpha-2 and imidazolin receptor agonist, setting it apart from conventional treatments. This innovative approach makes it particularly valuable when traditional options like thiazides, beta blockers, AC inhibitors, or calcium channel blockers fail or are deemed unsuitable. Beyond its role in lowering blood pressure, moxonidine has shown remarkable effects on metabolic health, particularly in improving parameters associated with insulin resistance syndrome. Interestingly, it also acts as a growth hormone releaser, adding another layer of versatility to its therapeutic profile. Originally developed under the brand names Physiotens and Moxon, it is now manufactured by Abbott following their acquisition of Solve Pharmaceuticals in 2009. At the heart of moxonidine's effectiveness is its selective action on the imidazoline receptor subtype 1 or I1. These receptors are predominantly located in specific regions of the medulla oblongata responsible for regulating blood pressure. By targeting these areas, moxonidine reduces sympathetic nervous system activity leading to a significant decrease in blood pressure. What sets it apart from older central-acting antihypertensives like clonidine is its specificity. Moxonidine exhibits a much higher affinity for the I1 receptor compared to the alpha-2 receptor, ensuring a more targeted and effective action with fewer side effects. In comparison, clonidine binds almost equally to both receptors, which can lead to a broader range of undesired effects. Moxonidine's benefits extend beyond its antihypertensive properties. It may promote sodium excretion, protect against organ damage caused by hypertension, and improve insulin resistance and glucose tolerance. Studies in animal models have shown its ability to prevent the onset of insulin resistance, hyperinsulinemia, and disruptions in glucose regulation. Given that insulin resistance is a significant risk factor for cardiovascular diseases, these findings underscore the drug's potential to positively impact overall cardiovascular health. Despite its advantages, moxonidine is not without its limitations. It is contraindicated in individuals with a history of angioedema, certain heart conduction disorders, severe heart failure, or coronary artery disease. Conditions like Raynaud's syndrome, epilepsy, depression, Parkinson's disease, and glaucoma also preclude its use. Moreover, its safety during pregnancy has not been established, and it should be avoided during breastfeeding due to its ability to pass into breast milk. Patients with moderate to severe renal impairment are also advised against its use, and abrupt discontinuation of the drug should be avoided to prevent rebound hypertension. If used alongside a beta blocker, the latter should be discontinued first to ensure a smooth transition. The MoxCon trial revealed potential risks when moxonidine was administered at very high doses, far exceeding the typical therapeutic range. In this study, an unusually high dose of 3.0 mg daily was linked to increased mortality in patients with symptomatic heart failure. However, this finding does not reflect the safety profile of the usual dosage range of 0.2 to 0.6 mg daily, which has been shown to be well tolerated in most patients. As with any medication, moxonidine can cause side effects. Common complaints include dry mouth, dizziness, headaches, fatigue, and nausea. Some patients might experience sleep disturbances, though sedation is rare. Skin reactions and intermittent facial edema are infrequent but noteworthy. Importantly, routine toxicology studies have found no evidence of teratogenic, mutagenic, or carcinogenic risks. Long-term studies have also shown that moxonidine does not adversely affect organ systems or impair growth and development during perinatal or postnatal stages. Interestingly, when combined with a thiazide diuretic like hydrochlorothiazide, moxonidine produces a synergistic effect, amplifying its antihypertensive properties. However, caution is advised when consuming alcohol, as it may enhance the drug's hypotensive effects, 
potentially leading to excessive blood pressure drops. Overall, while moxonidine offers significant benefits for managing hypertension and improving metabolic health, its use requires careful consideration of patient history, current conditions, and potential interactions to ensure optimal outcomes.